What's up y'all, Jay Bones here for the Buff Nerds, and today we're gonna talk about when to use handheld filmmaking. Or I should say, when to go handheld when filmmaking. Uh, basically, I've done videos in the past where, you know, I've made anti-gimbal videos, and it's not as much as it is that I'm against gimbals as it is that um, I'm against them being used for everything. I've talked about it in the past that, you know, all film milk, Filmmaking tools are tools, just like a you know a painter that's going to paint a painting. There's different brushes for different styles of painting, different strokes, and the same thing should go for filmmaking techniques and gear. So every single shot and video you do shouldn't live on a gimbal, or if you do have shots on a gimbal, you should break it up, break up the pace, the energy, and the tone throughout the video with some handheld shots. And I want to talk about that today in a couple videos that. I recently shot that are either all handheld um, and the reason I did that as well as why we use handheld in those MGK videos to break up the scenes away from the Ronin or Movi shots and the crane jib shots as well. So through this new MGK uh, music video and so on this recent MGK video, there was a lot of gimbal shots, a lot of steady cam work and whatnot, uh, some crane stuff. And then amidst that, um, I was B camera catching all handheld energy. And it's just a great way, not only for the style of the video, but to break up the pacing. It's a very energetic song and you wanna have those smooth gliding shots, whether it's a crane or establishing a Ronin or Movi, but then you wanna be able to punch into and cut to those raw energy, handheld, catch those moments, feel like you're there with them, and it just creates a whole nother element and depth to your project. Even MGK said it, he's like, I don't want this all on the movie, like I want some handheld stuff in there, and that's one of the reasons we shot handheld and it is broken up. Uh, not only for the Hollywood Horror video, but the, the new one that was just released as well. Then going into the video that I directed and DP'd for Hardwell, Summer Air, that entire video is handheld. I didn't want like any Ronin, Movi, Steadicam. I wanted to the audience to feel like they were on an adventure with these little kids. So these kids are like exploring nature, they're in their tree fort and all these things. And I felt that if you were to just Ronin, Movi, Steadicam, everything, it would take you out of the story a little bit and almost like tell you that you're watching the story rather than making you feel like you're on this adventure with them. So like I'm running into the river, the lakes, the forest, water guns fight, they're exploring the world around them, their tree fort, climbing, jumping on a trampoline, and everything is handheld with them, running with them, capturing them, and that just puts you there as an audience member kind of along for the journey. So like anything, the way you move the camera just as much as the shot selection, color, everything else, tells a story and paints a mood, a tone, and should be calculated in what you're doing. So the Hardwell video, all handheld, you know, and I'll link the videos I'm talking about in the description below, and I'll probably be throwing up clips as I talk. But when you're thinking of your camera movement, that's important. You, you're not supposed to just shoot a video on a Movi Ronin with no thought as to like, why am I shooting it this way? What is this establishing shot? What am I cutting into? And if you look at any classic or good movie, you notice on certain moments that are of importance or mean something to a character, the camera either angle or something switches. Um, you know, it's it's classic, I think, in Fight, I'm not sure if it's Fight Club or Gone Girl, but David Fincher, the majority of the time, uses tripod. Like, still locked off, dolly, tripod, whatever it is, but there are a few instances when either something's going wrong or chaotic with, you know, the actor or person in the film, it switches over to handheld for some brief moments. And that's because that's specific trying to paint a mood and tell a story through the camera movement and what that character is feeling in that time, that chaos, or what might be going through their head. So it's important not to just shoot everything on a gimbal just because you think that's how it should be shot or you think it's cool. Like have a purpose behind everything you shoot. The whole reason I shot the Hardwell uh, Summer Air video handheld, like I said, I wanted you to feel like you were on this adventure there with them, not like you were watching a movie or a story from the outside. I wanted you to feel like you were there with them. And so with anything you do, whether it's a music video, a narrative story, um, it, you should portray you know, emotions, moods, and tones through your camera movement, lens selection, lighting, it all comes together to tell one story. 
So that's all I wanted to talk about today is handheld filmmaking, when to use it, and to think critically about how you're gonna use it because it can really break up the pace of your video and tell a story. And so just be critical, think, think critical from now on when you move forward with all your projects. All right guys, that's all I have for today. Uh, if you have any questions for me, drop a comment below, hit that like button, subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I'm Jacob Owens for The Buff Nurse, and I'm out.